Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another single-player episode. Uh, this time around, well, last time we were uh, just kind of cutting into this new block. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of forwarding, start cleaning up our pile a little bit here, test out the forwarder on some wacky terrain because we haven't really had a chance to really run it over uh, any really bad terrain. So we get a little closer to the logs here. I always end up parking way too far away from the logs, so let's try to get everything nice and close. Test it out here. And I've had a few requests to uh, get a fixed head on this thing. So we might see how that goes. Might try it. We're actually doing a whole bunch of forwarding in um, in our uh, multiplayer right now too. So. Oh. Logs are mighty reactive today, aren't they? go so yeah we'll see uh, maybe a fixed head in the future I'd love we were talking last night uh, I was doing a live stream last night and we were talking about making a trailer that was could rotate and be a side load and a and a regular style loading too I don't know if that's possible or not but might look into it just for fun might try it I can always try and fail and I just need like a whole month off work so that I can really sit down and just get back to modding. <laughs> I always feel like I'm just kind of getting into it and then I'm distracted for like a week and then I just start getting back into it and I'm distracted again. It's like, ugh. I'd love just one solid week where I could just punch it in. Put that there. There we go. But you never know. Maybe the opportunity will present itself soon enough. I know in October I got a, uh, a whole week off, so I think I'm going to uh, take advantage of that then for sure. Oops. Wrong button. I mean, I think the forwarder works pretty darn good, in my opinion, like for picking stuff up. I haven't had too many issues doing anything. The head gets a little wild sometimes if you squeeze it too tight, but for the most part, I think it's pretty good. The uh, back wheel actually has a little bit of issues, I noticed. Obviously when you're going on steep hills or there's a drop in the terrain, the trailer doesn't flex. And because it doesn't flex, um, it causes it to kind of float in the air a little bit, which is kind of annoying, but... I've tried all, <clears throat> all kinds of different methods and I can't come up with anything that keeps it kind of sturdy, I guess you could say. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Throw this in here. Okay, now we got this big old pile on this side. Actually, I wonder if I can get a good picture right here. Sure. Throw a couple randoms. And let's see if I can load this from this angle. I don't know, it's kind of a funky angle, but we'll try. It's a pretty long arm on this guy, so we should be able to grab all this. Those little tiny ones always just glitch right out of it. Just, just don't like that, hey? Alright. Oh. 
Be able to reach that one, I think. Oh, yeah. Like I said, it's pretty long arm on this guy, so it's got a really good reach. Perfect. Perfecto El Mundo. just worked out perfect. And we'll grab this. Perfect. I feel like I bunch these together a little bit and grab them better. So focused with my forwarding here, just like just pick up sticks. And now I should be able to just do one big grab and get them all. Yeah, ah, oh, that's satisfying when you see that. I like that. Lock it up and roll it forward. Let's go to this one. Oh, see if you park it like a too weird of an angle, you get like this kind of rickety, dancey thing going on. It does its uh, pelvic thrusts into the ground. Good picture though. It's so weird. It's only at certain angles. Like, I put a secondary tire, but it still doesn't seem to uh, make that difference, so. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Then, see, you can go to, like, a totally different spot, and it works just fine. That's just so weird. Just ghosts. Physics ghosts. Well, whatever, it's all good. Actually, I'm gonna put the butts on this end this time because we got a little bit heavy on the right by the looks of it. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Gentle does it. Now, these are gonna be a little interesting to pick up, but I'm sure we'll get them. And a semi flat spot. The crappy little grab. Uh, ah, come on, we're, there we go. There we go. Ooh, nice. And like I said, I'm going to try to put the butts to this side a little bit just to kind of even it up. Oh, that's a little too far to that side there. Oh. Doing the dance. It's doing the forwarder dance. Lock it up. Oops. A little tight in this spot. Hmm. 
Getting a pretty full load on here now. I knew this would be kind of an iffy spot, but try it. See how it goes. Let's see here. Let's grab these here and shuffle them over here. You can grab these and shuffle them over here. And then hopefully we can get... Oh, come here. Hopefully we can get all of this in just one little grab here. There we go. There we go. And boom, drop it. Up and grab these ones, and I think we pretty much got a full cart here, so we might just head her back to that main landing. Give ourselves enough for that next spot. There we go, beauty. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough on there, I think. Hey, I don't really want to stack it too, too high. Well, maybe what I'll do is I'll turn around. I'll just grab this pile, actually, and then I'll turn around and bring her back. And then we'll start at the bottom when we come back here to do more. The key is, when you're forwarding, just to keep locking it up. Because if you don't lock it, it uh, can get a little sketchy. Uh, what I'm going to do is grab these three, I think. So I got just the place for them. And then I'll come back for the rest. Oops. Just the place for you guys, right here. Beauty. And I'm going to take their fun little counterparts here and put them right in that little top spot. Fill that little hole and then we're good to go. And lock it up. Yeah, let's turn this sucker around and get back out of here. Oops. Keep hitting E for some odd reason. Let's see if this thing has enough torque to turn this thing around on a hill. I need to go turn this way and back it up. Oh, yeah. Look at that torque, eh? I was trying to make it so it would turn more of a 90 degree angle, but it's just too tight. There we go. Oh yeah, perfect. Alright. You can't drive from third person, I always have to drive from first person, it makes life easier. How's that thing ride? It probably bounces around like crazy, eh? Nah, not too, too bad. It's these hills, like, see how the trailer just kind of like... Well, actually, that worked pretty good, but <laughs> sometimes the trailer, like, swings. Like, if you get the trailer loose, it'll, like, swing on a pivot. It looks really funny. There we go. Alrighty, so now that we brought it back to the landing, I'm just going to park her here for now. Um, what we'll have to do is use that uh, loader right there to unload all that stuff off of the trailer itself. I'm going to put this claw over here. Shut her down, and yeah, when we come back, I'll unload all that into kind of a pile over here, I guess, and then we'll start using that to actually load uh, logging trucks, so. If you guys liked the video, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.